we got the official first look, an unbelievable official first look from James Gunn of David Corn Sweat in the Superman suit. I do not need to get into the history of my connection to David Corn Sweat and just this movie and my excitement for it. So you guys can imagine how much I am just beaming right now and trying to process this new look. Obviously, you know, first and foremost, it's please go check out the image while you're listening or, you know, see it before you listen to this because we're going to describe it in great detail here. But it is David Corn Sweat fully in the suit. We have a background of seemingly Metropolis with a crazy beam pointing towards the sky. Richard, this is an unbelievable first look. What are your first thoughts of the brand new Superman suit? By the way, re um, reaffirming that July 11th release date. I absolutely love it. I mean, literally, this came out of freaking nowhere. Like, we did not, we were not going to plan to talk about Superman on this podcast until literally, what, 30 seconds before you sent me the Zoom link yeah. to top on this thing? Unbelievable. Um, it, it. I mean, this couldn't have come in a crazier time, so please excuse me if I'm a little frantic <laughs> right now because this is absolutely insane, but I'm so happy it's getting on today's episode yeah and i mean congratulations to you again by the way i don't know if i've gotten to tell you on the podcast but for you basically manifesting this whole uh david corn sweat a superman thing um beyond jealousy you got to meet him that is so cool like that is one of that's one of my favorite videos on our on the direct youtube channel which we're going to keep plugging through the show um but to the suit itself it looks awesome like we saw the different logo that james gunn is using this the different s um from kingdom the come kingdom style. come yeah i was gonna say kingdom come storyline if i remember correctly from dc comics it, it's a different look for superman that we've gotten before which uh, unsurprising considering it's james gunn he likes to do things a little differently and, and most of the time it works out fantastically for characters um this suit looks so freaking cool um well i mean we got the red boots that the cape is just flowing perfectly off his shoulders um I, I love all the little details the fabric it looks like we are getting the trunks if you can see it like right next to his right arm yeah i think you can see like a hint of a belt i'm literally looking at it right now um that's david a great call it looks david corn sweat looks freaking awesome as superman i mean like I had a feeling I didn't really know a lot about David Corn Sweat, obviously, before he got cast as Superman. I've been catching up, doing my research on him, learning about him. This just reaffirms. I think he is going to be such an incredible Clark Kent, Superman, every version of this character. I am so freaking pumped for, for July 2025. That, I mean, we're going to get into some Fantastic Four stuff later because we got Fantastic Four and Superman coming out that month. That is going to be one of the most epic months in history for comic book movies. We've got Superman uh, starting off the DCU and Marvel's first family finally joined the MCU. It, it, count me all the way in on this suit. Yeah, great points. And I can't wait to see that Fantastic Four first look of their, them in their suits in live action. That's going to be fantastic. Right? Um, this is just such wonderful candy that James Gunn is giving us. I was hoping they would delay the reveal until July because then it is one year away. I think that would have been cool. I do Comic -Con, believe. Maybe, yeah. 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 Comic-Con would have been cool. Or like July 11th and be like, Hey, one year from today. Um, it's that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was my hope. With all that being said, I do have some immediate pros and cons of this suit. So first off, yeah, I think there are trunks. Of course, they are still hiding them in terms of how they will physically look. I do love the idea of him kind of like putting putting on his boot, like he's suiting up right now, which is really cool. This is darker than I was expecting. Um, I think the blue is definitely like in terms of this lighting and the lighting is dark. So completely, you know, bear in mind, lighting is a huge factor in this. The blue is definitely darker than I was expecting. I do love how he seems to be battled right here. Like the, the suit seems to be weathered a little bit. If you look at that now, we know it very well. This awesome new emblem, which I personally love. This new emblem, obviously, it, it looks a little bit dirtied and battered. Um, the cape is very long. That was a big discussion in terms of like what the cape was going to look like. Would it be long? Would it be shorter? Would it be kind of that medium? It does seem long. Henry Cavill's was long as well. Um, and with that being said, my biggest con, by the way, his hair looks awesome. He looks physically great. You know, the hair is perfect. Yeah, he has this. He has the swoop. It, you know, it looks 
awesome. The the background looks very James Gunn. He, and James Gunn has discussed how this Metropolis is going to be very unique, its own thing, have its own kind of you know uh, ethos to it where it's going to feel very not like New York, not like a city that we know um, in the actual United States, but its own thing which is so exciting. It isn't gold. You know, some people were kind of speculating like it could be gold, but we imagine this is Metropolis in the background we're looking at. And obviously that huge beam is very fascinating. Uh, my biggest con I would say is I don't love the collar. I'm not a big fan of the collar. I will grow to like this costume for sure. This suit. Um, I'm excited to see it in action. That's kind of the biggest thing too, is actually seeing him physically as Superman in the suit. Uh, it is surprising to me. They went with the collar. I like, I mean, they, they, they did want to differentiate a lot from the man of steel suit. And that is, you know, very obvious looking at this, they wanted it to be, it want, they wanted it to feel uh, similar and familiar, but also very new, um, very 2020s, I would say. And it definitely is living up to that. I do think there's going to be polarizing views of this suit. I don't think everyone's going to love it. I think on first glance, Personally, I still prefer that Man of Steel suit, even though I do agree in Man of Steel specifically, it is a bit too dark, like that blue is too dark. But if you look at his, not to get a little too into the weeds here, if you do look at like his knee section, um, <laughs> you do see the blue pops a little bit more. It is a little bit lighter. So I do think the lighting has a lot to do uh, with the color palette that we're getting here. But overall, look, this is an amazing first look. I do suspect, by the way, that they were getting ahead of something in terms of where they're shooting next, that maybe there could be some set photos leaked soon. So look out mm. for that. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I can't confirm that or anything, but I don't think James Gunn on a Monday morning just un, you know, not needing to would post this. I think they had to be holding on to this as long as they could, and they finally did. I mean, there is also an argument just quickly on this because there's a big discussion of like when they're going to release it. Right. I mean, I do know this is a big part of Warner Brothers Discovery's, you know, uh, plan and not only plan, but kind of what they're showing investors to where it's like they want to get people excited. They want to generate hype. And while they're generating it really ahead of time, this is such a small little glimpse. It's so exciting. Um any other thoughts, Richard? And then I have a more specific question for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, the lighting in this picture is really like the defining quality because like, I mean, besides the scuffing on the Superman, the, the Superman logo itself, because it looks really battered and beaten up. Um, I think that lighter blue on, on his legs, on his knees is going to be kind of more of the, the color that we're expecting the whole suit to be when it's fresh and when it's new and everything. I love to, one of the little detail I want to point out before we go forward, I love the little like lining on the arms and on the shoulder pads and everything. It it kind of actually, like you said with the Man of Steel suit, how it's similar but different, that actually kind of reminds me of the a little bit of the Man of Steel suit the um, in a way. It sure does, yeah. It, exactly. It feels a little alien. It feels a little like like Kryptonian, like it's not from Earth, which I, and that's one of the things about Man of Steel that I loved is like they explored the the non-human side uh, to Clark Kent. And I hope they do that in this one, too, even though they're for sure going to go back to the original, you're like, good old Kansas boy, you know, American Superman and everything, which I, I just can't wait to see this suit in action. Yeah. I love the cape. I think it's going to look especially long on David Cornsweet because as you find out in person, he is six, five, you yeah, know, he's he a is, tall dude. Yeah. He is a big, big dude. And, and I've stood next to Klein. I know what six, five is like, um, <laughs> shout out Klein Felter, <laughs> our buddy, um, you know, built like a string being, but six, five. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the, I think this is going to look so, so cool. Uh, when we see it in action, um, I, I'm pumped. And I can't wait to see what the beam is in the back. I mean, Metropolis looks like it's in for some shit. Yeah, that was kind of my question is that what what could that beam be? Um, it was confirmed by Gunn recently that James Gunn is the main antagonist. Um, there is a rumor or just really that, wait, that James Gunn is the main antagonist. James Gunn is the main antagonist. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Lex Luthor is the main antagonist. Luthor, right, right. Um, thank you. Um, Lex that, Luthor's that, the main antagonist. That, that very Deadpool thing to do, make James Gunn the villain of your movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Zack Snyder. Um, so <laughs> uh with that with the, with that being said. 
um, there's this idea where there could be these like uh, I forget what it's 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 a run in the comic books where basically uh, Lex Luthor kind of creates these like anti-hero robots, right? It's almost it's almost like what we'd see in like Age of Ultron, you know, these kind of like Iron Man esque um, robots or or even people in these like metallic suits yeah. that would be fighting almost against like them. The, like we're gonna talk about later with X Men, the Sentinels almost. Yeah, very Sentinel like. Um, that's a great that's a great call. Um, this definitely points in the direction. I think I'm sure there will be a lot of theories online that can like, you know, point something out in the comics that know a little bit better of like what this could possibly be. I am very fascinated to see what this means. Look, just to wrap up here, I don't love the patterning around the shoulders, I would say. Like, I don't love how that necessarily looks. I think it is cool how it you can see like the the sleeves are very thick. Like it seems like the top yeah. is just very thick and you can see kind of like the wrinkling happening. Very interesting. I mean, it is its own unique take. I think it does do a perfect balance of really what James Gunn said, blending in uh, previous past suits, you know, some iconic stuff with just something brand new, something completely revolutionary. I do not love the collar. I, I can't I can't lie. I wish the collar wasn't there, but I'll get over it. And I do <laughs> think the patterning is a little bit weird. I think overall. I wish it was a little bit simpler of a suit. And I and I wonder if maybe we get multiple suits in this DC universe because there's also an opportunity, like I just spoke about, with the thickness of it. You know, maybe this is a Mark I suit and maybe we get a different suit. I don't know. I'm just speculating out there, but I do think the emblem is here to stay. I think that is the new DCU Superman emblem and corn sweat with the curl. Come on. I'm so excited for him in this role. And I'm, and now we got the Superman look. Awesome. I'm ready to see the Clark Kent look. I'm ready to see him in the Daily Planet with Lois Lane, Rachel Brosnahan, and see what that looks like. Big circular glasses. I, I want to see that version of this character because I love Henry Cavill as Superman. The one biggest critique that I agree with is his portrayal of the the, the Clark Kent side of things where I think James Gunn could really nail that side too. I agree. Like I, I, I think uh, Henry Cavill was an amazing Superman. I, I actually really liked his portrayal, but like you said, I don't, I'm not sure if he quite nailed the Clark Kent side of it just because, you know, it, the Henry Cavill of it all, but I, I cannot wait to see what corn sweat does with it. Um, is it weird that I'm almost as, as excited for, as I am for David corn sweat as Superman is it weird that I'm almost more excited for Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane? Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's exciting. Because, yeah, I mean, I think she, from everything I've seen from her, I got to get into Marvelous Miss Maisel because I've heard nothing but incredible things about her in that. Um, but I can't wait to see her. And uh, shout out Skylar Gisondo, too. Uh, yeah. As Jimmy, as Jimmy Olsen, love that guy. And he was in vacation. He's in one of my personal favorite shows, Psych, for a couple of seasons, just in flashback stuff. Um, love him. Can't wait to see him as Jimmy Olsen. This movie is going to be incredible. I think this movie is going to be the return to Superman that we have all wanted because Zack Snyder did his thing with it. Uh, we enjoyed it. It was a different take on Superman. I think this is going to get back down to the basics of who Superman really is as a movie. And like just last side note before we get off the subject, I kind of love that they actually are just calling this movie Superman instead of Superman Legacy. Because this is the first time in a long time, what's a bit like since the 80s, I think, since since Christopher Reeves, that yeah. this, that a movie has just been called Superman. Yeah, I mean, um, it was 70, what is it, 79 Superman? That's just just Superman. Yeah, something like that. Um, but I think James Gunn knows what the audience wants, the vast majority of the audience. I, I think he's getting back down to the basics of it. I'm pumped. I can't wait to see what the suit in action. Uh, get me to July 2025. I'm, I'm all here for it. Thank you